Nothing beats the taste of vegetables harvested fresh from your own garden. They're delicious to eat and fun to watch as they grow. Here are a few tips for getting your vegetable garden started. Location is a key consideration when planning your garden. Vegetables are sun worshipers and need sunny, open spaces in order to thrive. Look for a spot that provides at least six hours of direct sunlight a day, but sunlight from morning through the end of the day is even better. What kind of garden you make depends on what you like to eat. Are salads big in your family? Or is your household full of corn on the cob connoisseurs? Decide on your must-have vegetables, then consider your space. Find a space with nearby access to water and one that you're satisfied has enough room for the vegetables you want to grow. Once you've settled on a space, make sure your garden looks good on paper. Make a sketch of your garden, drawing circles to represent your vegetable plants. Use the spacing recommended in the seed packet or plant description as a guide. Leave space between rows wide enough to accommodate a wheelbarrow or a mower, and plan to interplant quick crops like leaf lettuce with slower maturing crops like cabbage, since dense planting thwarts weeds. Before you get started planting, you want to make sure your soil has what it takes to grow healthy plants. You don't want hard, compacted soil in your garden, so start by digging it up either with a shovel for smaller plots or with the tiller for something larger. While you're at it, take a moment to remove any rocks and weeds you expose. You may also want to spray a weed and grass killer during your fall cleanup to make your spring gardening a little easier. Next, have your soil's nutrient content, composition, and acidity tested to make sure it's properly balanced for growing. We recommend taking advantage of testing provided by your local agriculture extension office. Just provide them a labeled sample and for a minimal fee, they'll provide a report of exactly what your soil needs. Now that spring is here and your soil is loose and ready, there are a few tried and true methods for planting vegetables in your new garden. Broadcasting seed is great for bigger gardens and it works well with small seeds, such as lettuce, carrots, and radishes. To broadcast, simply sprinkle your seeds over the soil. Press them in lightly to help them make good contact with the soil. And then cover them with compost or dirt. Whether you're using packaged seeds or seedlings that have already started growing, planting in hills works well for sprawling plants like winter squash and cucumbers. Hills are usually a mound about a foot in diameter spaced far enough apart that the plants have room enough to grow. If you like a well-organized garden, sowing seeds in rows will suit you just fine. You'll grow lots of plants and can tend to them easily. Also, plants such as tomatoes and zucchini thrive in conditions that allow for good air circulation, so drills are a good option. Plants that require trellises or string support, like peas, will do well also. Mark your rows off with string, plant your seedlings or sprinkle the seeds in rows, press them in, and cover them lightly with dirt. With all of these methods, water at soil level at least one inch of water per week. Keep leaves dry or water in the morning if you're using sprinklers. And as the seedlings grow, thin them out until you have a manageable crop. No matter the size of your garden or what you've planted, you can't beat the taste of vegetables picked fresh from right outside your door. If you have any other questions about gardening in your backyard, visit your local tractor supply store or the know-how section of tractorsupply.com.